In this video, you will learn how to write the equation for parallel lines. So before we can start to write the equations for parallel lines, we need to know what parallel lines are. So by definition, two lines are parallel if they never intersect. So we have two lines here and they never cross or they never intersect. Now, what's really happening here, and the reason that these two lines never intersect, is because they have something in common. And what you need to know about parallel lines is that two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. So what's happening here is the reason that these two lines never intersect is because they're going up and over, up and over, up and over at the exact same rate. And what happens is they never get closer to each other because their rise over run pattern, they're going up and they're going over at the same rate and never getting closer to each other. So we know if two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Now what we're going to do on this slide is we're going to write the equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through this point right here and is parallel to the given line. So before we can start to write the equation of our new line, we need to think about what that word parallel means. And parallel means that these two lines have the same slope. So essentially what I know is I'm going to write the equation of a line. So I'm going to make some notes over here in a different color. So I have my line that I am writing the equation for. And what I know about my line is my line goes through the point negative 4, comma 5. And then I also know that it is parallel to this line over here. And if they're parallel, they have the same slope. So I know that to write the equation of a line, I need two things. I need a point and I need a slope. And unfortunately right now, I don't have a slope. But because I understand the pattern that parallel lines have, I know that if I can find the slope of this line, I can then in essence find the slope of my line because they are parallel and they have the same slope. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to actually find the slope of this line that I am parallel to. And I do that by writing it into slope-intercept form, which means that y needs to be alone. So I start off by subtracting 1x from each side. So I have 2y is equal to 12 plus a negative 1x. Divide both sides by 2. And I have y is equal to 12 over 2 is 6 plus a negative 1 half x. And then I know that my line over here in purple is parallel to this one. And what's happening because they're parallel is they have the same slope. So essentially, I can see the slope of this line over here is a negative one-half. And because they are parallel, that means the slope of my line is a negative one-half. So this extra detail over here of this other line is just given to you so that you can find the slope of your line because your line is parallel to this line. So it's just a different way of finding the slope of your line. Now, once you look at your line and you see that you have a point and you have a slope, you can actually cross off this whole section because this whole section's point was just to find you the slope. And now you have the slope, so you're going to move on and write the equation of your line. And to write the equation of a line, we need a point and a slope, and we need to start in point slope form. So now I'm actually going to start writing the equation of my line into point slope form. I'm going to take my point and take my slope and plug that in. So I have y minus my y coordinate of 5 is equal to negative 1 half times x minus my x coordinate of negative 4. And because I know of keep change change, I know that this becomes keep change change, so it becomes a plus. So I can really let, just write plus 4 inside of here. Then from reading my instructions, I notice that they want me to end in slope-intercept form. So we're going to start by utilizing the distributive property. 
So we have y minus 5 is equal to negative 1 half x plus 4 over 1 times that negative 1 half. That becomes negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So this is plus negative 2. And then I'm going to add 5 to each side to get the y by itself. So I have y equals negative 1 half x plus Three. So what I've written here is I've written the equation of a line that goes through this given point right here and is parallel to this line, meaning they have the same slopes. So in example two here, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. We're going to write the equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through this point right here and is parallel to this line. So what we're going to start with is we're going to think about the line that we're writing the equation for. So we have my line. And what I know about my line is it goes through the point negative 2 comma 7. So I have a point, and I know to write an equation I need a point and a slope. So I need to find my slope. And while I don't have another point, so I can't do the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, I can use this information about the parallel lines to help me find my slope. So I know that I am parallel to this line here, which means that I have the same slope as this line that I'm focusing on over here in blue. So if I can find the slope of that line boxed in blue, I can find the slope of my line that I'm writing the equation for. And I know to find the slope, I need to write it into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to utilize keep change change here and then start by subtracting 6x from each side. So I have negative 2y is equal to 12 plus a negative 6x. Divide both sides by a negative 2. So I have y equals negative 6 plus negative 6 over negative 2 is a positive 3x. So what I can see here is that my slope of this line is 3. And because these two lines are parallel, that means that my slope of my line over here that I'm writing the equation for in purple is also 3. They have the same slope. So they both have a slope of 3 when written in slope-intercept form. So now that I have the slope of my line and a point for my line, I can now ignore this piece over here and just focus on writing the equation of my line. So we're going to start in point slope form. So we have y minus our y coordinate of seven is equal to my slope of three times in parentheses x minus my x coordinate of negative two. I then see a keep change change situation, so I can rewrite that as x plus two. Then from here, I need to rewrite it into slope intercept form, so I distribute y minus 7 is equal to 3x plus 6. I then add 7 to each side and find y equals 3x plus 13. So here I have the equation of a line that is parallel to this line over here in blue. So they both have a slope of 3. And then it goes through the point of x is negative 2, y is 7.